Hmm. That's better. There are a ton of videos on YouTube about how to make an entire studio on one rolling stand, and it really inspired me to make my own. The one in particular that I took the most inspiration from is by another Caleb. Yes, there are more of us, and we are taking over. Anyway, this video was by Caleb Pike from DSLR Video Shooter, and I believe he kind of like had the initial idea for it, or at least from what I can find, and I really liked his design, but I tweaked it a little bit for my own personal usage. He went with a rolling light stand for his and attached everything you could possibly think of onto it, whereas I went with a tripod that I rigged everything to, and the light is separate, which I will talk about later. So the equipment needed for this build is a Neewer rolling tripod base, a travel tripod that I just had lying around, a sandbag, three impact super clamps, two impact articulating arms, a quarter 20 male adapter for one of those arms, an impact camera mount for the other arm, two small rig magic arms, one small rig magic clamp, a phone mount, a small rig V-mount clamp that came with my RC220B light, a 98 watt hour V-mount battery because I am running my entire setup off of a V-mount system, but you could also run it off of a power strip that's just plugged into the wall. And then for monitor, I am using an Atomos Ninja V because that is what I had lying around. And to power this, I am using a Atomos DC to D-tap cable that is obviously run into the V-mount battery. For audio, I am using a Zoom F3 recorder, which is being powered by a USB-C cable run into the V-mount battery. And the Zoom F3 is running into a Sennheiser MKE 600 and powering it via phantom power. For camera, I am using my trusty EOS R6 with a Canon EF to RF adapter along with a Canon EF 24mm f1.4 Mark II. And then finally, I have a Moment Cinebloom 10% filter screwed onto the front of the lens so we can soften this up a little bit. So putting this all together, we are going to start by spreading out our Neewer rolling base, uh, placing our travel tripod on the top and tightening down the legs into the three corner areas. Next, we are going to grab our giant nutsack, otherwise known as a sandbag, so our entire rig does not fall over. Next, I added the mount for our monitor, which consists of a impact super clamp, an impact articulating arm, and the impact camera mount. Next, we are going to add the mount for our zoom, which consists of a impact super clamp and a small rig magic arm. The third clamp setup is going to be used for our microphone, which consists of another impact super clamp, the other impact articulating arm, and the quarter 20 male adapter on top so that we can attach our microphone later. Next, we are going to include the small rig super clamp with the small rig magic arm and the phone mount at the very end. To power this whole setup, we are going to attach our small rig V-mount clamp onto the leg of the tripod. And finally, we can start attaching all of our accessories to this setup. I usually start by putting the monitor onto the camera mount. Next, I attach the Zoom F3 to the small rig arm via the quarter 20 hole in the back of the zoom. We are then going to screw in our microphone onto the quarter 20 adapter on the articulating arm. And I like to boom this microphone just below the frame here aimed directly at me so I can get the best possible audio. Then we are going to attach our camera and I am using a small rig cage on my EOS R6 because it has a built-in Arca Swiss plate on the bottom so I can just clamp it directly to the tripod head, and it's a very, very sturdy setup. Then to power this whole setup, we are going to attach our V-mount battery to the V-mount clamp, and then we just need to basically wire everything up and attach all of our cables. So some of you might be wondering why I did not attach the light to this entire rig, because there are a lot of other videos that have made a similar setup, but the light is included on the rig, and it's more of an all-in-one, but there's some drawbacks from my use case. The light that I use to light these videos is an Aperture 120D Mark II with a uh, Aperture Light Dome 2, which is a huge and heavy setup. And that would create a ton of weight and just excess problems on this rig. Also with a lot of these setups, the light is like right on the top aiming directly at you. So you don't, it's a very like flattening look and then you can't add a whole lot of shape 
whatsoever. So ideally you would need to hang it off the side somehow, but that adds a ton of unnecessary like stress to your build. And I just wasn't a fan of that. So I just put my light on a separate rolling light stand that I can move wherever and shape the light to my personal needs. The cost to set this whole thing up was actually quite a bit less than I was expecting. And it cost me around $500 because I just I had most of this stuff laying around already from past shoots. So I just kind of repurposed it into this setup. And that pretty much just consists of the clamps, the arms, the camera mounts, um, that sort of thing. And also the Zoom F3. So that is included in that price because previously I was recording my audio through a Rodecaster Pro, which is massive and would not fit on this rig very well. So if you don't need an audio recorder, you can probably build this entire setup for like 200 bucks, which is kind of nuts because most of us already have a camera. Most of us already have a monitor that we're already using and most of us already have a microphone, especially if you do not want to record through XLR, if you just want to record directly into your camera, you could just use like, uh, you know, a Rode video mic, shotgun mic that you have or anything. Even uh, I think Caleb Pike used a Rode video micro and it sounded great. And that, that just ran straight into the camera. So you don't have to use higher quality microphones and audio recorders, but I like to, so I did. Overall, I absolutely love this setup because it takes me a minute or so to completely set up my entire YouTube studio. I don't have stands and lights hanging out everywhere. Everything's on a rolling stand that I could just move around wherever I need to. And I absolutely love that. And my wife absolutely loves that because we share an office and it's not taken up by uh, a ton of stands and all that garbage. And this setup has gotten me back into creating content this year, which I am very, very grateful for because I missed it, but I hated setting stuff up and I hated my entire office just being taken up with stands and lights and whatnot. And this has greatly minimized the headache. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It greatly helps this channel out. And I'll see you in the next one.